Glenn Shorick of the Little River Band says initially the song Cool Change, which ended up being a big hit, was rejected by the Little River Band. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. Cool Change reached number eight on the Billboard charts. It was one of the biggest North American hits for the Little River Band, but initially they did not like the song. He had to fight to get it on there. So we first talk about democracy in LRB. Was there always a, a, a lot of competition with Graham and Beat and, and you to How were the songs picked for the album? Fisticuffs. <laughs> and money. <laughs> no. Yeah, you had to lobby a bit. Beep and Graham were, uh, they, they were serious songwriters. And still are, I think. I, my songs were just part of my um, string to my bow, as it were. I could come up with a good song every now and again, but I wasn't waking every morning going, I've got to write my song, I've got to write more song. Graham especially was a great song craftsman. I mean, just look at reminiscing and uh, Mistress of Mine and Long Way There, those songs are, are brilliant. Um, so yeah, I had to uh, lobby. Cool Change was, uh, they, they rejected that to begin with, the band did, because they said it was too personal. I said, yeah, of course it is. I wrote it, it's, it's my personality. Uh, and so John Boyle came to my, uh, the producer at the time, a good friend of mine, became my best man. So he came to my uh, rescue and Cool Change got on the, what is it, the first out of the Wire album, I think, um, and became what is now my most successful song uh, from a communication point of view. Um, people relate to that song of mine more than anything I've done. But uh, as you pointed out, you know, they are from personal experience. I'm on Monday, Help Us On Its Way, and Cool Change, probably my three most successful songs. And uh, there are other songs on, on uh, projects that I've done over the years that no one's really cottoned on to, except people who are really uh, you know, into listening to what the, the singer and songwriter is all about, which I am, you know, I, I, I do it. It, it has to sound good, totally, to, to begin with. In other words, you're hooked in by a hook, the title or the chorus, and, and then the, the sound of the record, not the sound, not, not the meaning of the lyric, but just the sound of the lyric. And, and then after that, the layers un unravel and you get more and more into a great song. You know, the Jackson Browns, the Joni Mitchells, the Van Morrisons, uh, Paul Simons, you know, the, the real, the real guys. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm way down the totem pole as far as that's concerned. Glenn Shorick sings Little River Band is the brand new album where he does new takes of old LRB songs. And there's a new autobiography called Now Where Was I? Details at glennshorick.com. We'll have more from Glenn coming up next Saturday. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel and share our videos. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music.